When you use the concat function in Excel, you're taking two different cells, like right here I've got an item number and right here I've got an item description, and you're combining them into one cell. But what do you do when you wanna get a space in between? Well, to do the concat, of course, I reference the first cell and then the second cell. And in order to get a blank space in between, all you need to do is do a quotation with a blank space in between, type a comma, and then reference the second cell again, just like this right here. When you close the parentheses and click enter, you can see that the space then appears, but hold on for a minute, because this only works great if you've got a couple of different cells that you're combining. But when you add in a couple more, like for example, I just added in the price here, things start to get really messy really quick, and it can become a huge pain to merge all of these together and to put the space in between each one. So let me show you how to get around this. The first thing that you gotta do is go into a blank cell like before and type equals concat with an open parentheses. From here, we're gonna mix it up and actually type out the word transpose and open the parentheses again. Now we want to reference the cells that we want concatenated like normal. So in my example, I wanted A, B, and C all together. So I'm actually just going to highlight this whole area. I'm going to close a single parentheses. I'm then going to add the and symbol. And the last step is I'm going to do quotes with a blank space in between. I'm going to leave this on the screen for just a minute so that you can check it out or stop the video and screenshot it. Once your function looks like this, you can click enter. And you can see now it's put a blank space in between each cell. Keep in mind that it doesn't always need to be a blank space. What's going on is it's actually just putting whatever you put between the quotation marks. So if I wanted to put a hyphen, for example, I could just add it right here, click enter again. And now we've got a hyphen between each cell. But I like how the blank space looks in my example, so I'll leave it like that. This can be especially helpful if you're using it on large sets of data. Let's just say that I wanted to concatenate A2 all the way down to, let's just say, A20. Well, now all my data is appearing with a space in between, and I don't need to go through the heartache of typing that quotes with a space in between every time. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching.